This man is a pervert. Not only did he imprison his daughter and marry her in the name of God, if the girl didn't do as she was told, she'd be whipped. The girl's name was Marie. People thought she was happy because her father was a priest and she had a good, kind mother, but only she knew that her father was a terrible man. One day, she suddenly realized she was menstruating. Unconsciously, she tried to hide it. She pretended she hadn't experienced it, but her mother noticed. Her mother seemed frightened and told her not to tell her father. Then she helped Mary clean up. Unbeknownst to her, her father was observing the scene. In the evening, Mary knelt down and prayed as usual. She was careful with every word. The reason was that there were eyes on her back. Until her father left, she couldn't breathe fresh air. But her mother was not so lucky. Her concealment angered her husband. He locked her up and stripped her of her clothes. Then he beat her with a whip until her pale skin was red with blood. But her husband's cruelty prevented her from resisting. But it was all in Marie's eyes. She began to live more cautiously. She was afraid of the whip on her body. But she underestimated her father's behavior. He never wanted to abuse her. He would only ask his adult daughter to bait her. And Mary's mother watched. An act of revenge was about to begin. This woman was abused by her husband. She was hooded like a dog. This is what happens when you disobey a priest. He organized a special session of criticism. It made the mother look like the devil. The mother couldn't speak because of the mask. Her eyes were full of hatred. And the daughter, Marie, was too young to be believed. It would have done her more harm than good. She thought she pleaded with her father when it was over. But her mother couldn't stand her husband. She couldn't stand the humiliation. She left with a look of despair. People criticized her behavior. The next moment, she hand herself in front of everyone. People don't understand. Only Marie knows of her mother's humiliation. She looks at her father on the stage and feels a twinge of despair. And she despairs of her future because the only person who could protect her, her mother, was no longer there. She had to fend for herself. First she had to escape her father and she was looking for an opportunity to do so. That day, two wounded men broke into her house. Marie rescued them. Thanks to her care, they began to recover from their wounds. But Marie didn't realize the danger, for there was a man looking at her, smiling, as if he was baiting her. But Mary knew nothing of it. She came to deliver the food as usual. As it happened, the other man was away, and it was just him and Mary. He didn't want to miss this opportunity. The woman wanted to cut her tongue out. Mary had to do it. It was the only way to survive. It turns out she was abused by her father. She ran away from home and met a gang of traffickers. They sold her to a brothel. Mary's good looks attracted a lot of customers. She managed to get away from her father, but her freedom was short-lived. As the priest's father came looking for her, he asked Mary to accompany him by name. When Marie saw his familiar silhouette, she felt fear in her heart. She had no choice but to disguise herself and try to get away. But her father recognized her immediately. He tore off the so-called mask and led her into the room. She looked up at her father. Mary couldn't help remembering that horrible night. She struggled and screamed at her father that he was a pervert. But all she got was more torture and beatings. She thought it was a brothel. She thought there would be a kind passerby. She thought she had a chance. So Mary lamented. She was right. A woman had stepped forward. But it was only one of the brothel sisters. She saw Mary being manhandled and came to arrest her. Unbeknownst to her, this was a violation of the limits imposed by the reverend. He hated it when women interfered with his decisions. So it wasn't long before the little sister met God. But it was this event that fueled Mary's desire to be free. She no longer wanted to be her father's plaything. So she pushed him to the ground and she quickly defeated him. Mary, in a panic, didn't care whether her father was dead or alive. All she could think about was running away. She put on her little sister's clothes to escape the murder. Then she set fire to her room, and she forgot all about her past.